Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the nested suits. So, how to implement the nested suit? Let's try to see it. So, as far as now, let's try to see the spec.js file. So, what uh, the calculator that spec.js file we have implemented using the describe method only. So, we have a test suit. So, a initial test suit is there. So, so far, what we have implemented is fine. It's not. It's not a. It's not a problem or anything. So, it's fine. So everything is correct only. So it's not a it's nothing wrong in this one. But we can also divide further this calculator spec dot file uh, spec dot js file into suits into further uh, deep nested suits. We can divide it. How to divide it? That one. Let's try to understand. If you try to see the output of this one, here we are having this calculator dot js file. This is a suit. Okay, this is a test suit, and in this test suit we are having a lot of spec specs. So if you try to see, we are not, we are unable to understand. So which one, which which really, which one is related to which one? So we are not able to understand. So this looks something like clumsy. So in order to know, in order to have a better understanding about this one, so we can also further divide into a subheading something like uh, nested suits, so that we can clearly understand what are the which tests are intended for which one. So which tests are related to which one? We can we can able to easily understand these things. So let's try to see it first. Let's try to explore. So first one is. So what is this one? Calculator dot spec dot js file. So let's open this one. So this one, if you try to see the folder structure, also we are maintaining according to the recommendation. And if I try to open this calculator dot js file, so this calculator dot js file is having a class, the so function calculator. So it, uh, it's also a class thing only. So it's a class constructor. So cali it, this this calculator dot js file is intended for completely for the calculator class. And here we are having for this calculator class, we are having add, subtract, multiply, and divide functions. Okay. So now this class, as this one is so now tomorrow you can have another function also in this calculator dot JSP. You can have you can have another function, something like that. You can have another function also. Right now we are having only one function that is related to the calculator. So what we can do is here in this one. So here we can use describe, and what is the class we are intended class or function? So we are trying to test the calculator. Okay, I am writing like this calculator, and this is the function, and I can copy all the, and I can copy all the specs what are there inside this calculator .js file. This these all everything relates to the calculator thing only. So here I can paste it. Now if you try to see the output, let's try to see the output. Now in the calculator .js file. So these are all the specs related to this calculator's function. Okay, we are able to clearly understand. And now another thing, what we can do is we can also further divide these all the specs into a into a nested suits. How can we divide? So we know that this calculator.js file having the methods so add, subtract, multiply, divide, right? So let's try to divide these all into a suits also. So now what I will try to do? So these these are all methods related to this calculator, right? Now what I can do here? So I will create describe, and I want I will write whatever the specs related to this add function. So I will write in this suit. Okay. So in the same scenario, we can also write for the multiply, and here subtract. Okay. So first, let's try to do it for well, addition only, so that you will clear understand. Now in this calculator dot js file, we are trying to write the specs for the calculator. And here first we are we need to write the specs for this add. So in this suit, so here if you try to see the first spec, it should add number to the total. So we are trying to test the calculator dot add. So that means we can remove this one and we can add it in this add thing. So why? Because it is trying to test the add method in the calculator function. So now if you try to see the output, here you will be able to see understand very easily. So in the calculator function, so for the add method, this is the spec. In the same scenario, what I can do here? Here I can write for the describe subtract also. So I can write for the subtract so function. So this is the, just I am using the parentheses. So if you want means you can also don't use it. So it's a, just a string matter. So don't think that one that one as a method. So now so I am I am keeping the subtract. So here it is in it is intended for the subtract method the spec. So that is the reason I am adding that one in the subtract. Suit. So if you try to see the output here, so for the add and subtract, we are able to have it so hierarchically. Now in the same scenario, what I will try to do is so describe. So 
sorry multiply function okay so here i can do what i can do is the multiply thing i can do it here okay so that's it now if i try to see the output here in the same scenario the multiply also has like this and another one what i can do the last one is division so describe divide i can use this divide and i can use this function okay and i can copy this divide aspect and i can paste it here so this one is related to the divide thing now if i try to see the output see for this calculator constructor the add subtract multiply and divide so these are the four methods we are having so these four methods we have we are the so associated specs we are able to divide it so this this one we are able to see hierarchically very neat now we will try to do this one also so is there anything that we can do it let's try to see it so another one is nothing but it should initialize the total so that means this one is related to the calculator constructor so not it's not related to any method so calculator constructor so what i can do it here so here at the top so this one is at the top i can add it here so that it is related to the calculator constructor now he another one what i can do is so this one is also related to this calculator constructor only and here this one is also related to calculator constructor only so we can copy these two things okay and i can go to the top in this calculator i can paste it down okay it should initialize the character it should have the unique character okay fine so it's fine and another one what is what we are having so this one is also related to the constructor itself so we can also take it at the top and let's paste it here at the bottom here so now let's try to see the output first so here we are able to see for the calculator constructor these are all the methods related to the constructor and still we'll try to divide these all things so now if you try to come down so it should have the calculator constructor this so uh, sorry yeah it should override the total value this one is also related to this constructor itself so we can copy these all the things and we can paste it at the top in the calculator method itself we can paste it okay and another one what i can do is so divide we also you can also divide yeah so this one it should not handle nan for multiply so this one is related to the multiply method so we can copy this one and we can paste it in the multiply here i can paste it okay and another one what i can do is it should throw error when divided by zero so this one is this spec is related to the division so we need to add it in the divide so in this divide we can add it here directly sorry in the divide okay so this one is we have added in the divide let's try to see the output if you try to see the output in the multiply we are able to see these are the two specs and in the divide we are able to see the two specs these are all related to the constructor and let's try to enhance more so now here we are having so this one is also completed so this one is divided right yeah this throw error should this one also throw error when when divided by zero so this one is also related to the division so we can let push it up to the divide suit and here what it is telling so here this is doing the add and it is trying to do it it should return total a number so we can also uh, push it to the add method okay so this is also related to the add method and here this is the add method so here i can push it to the add method why because we are testing with the add here and another one what we are what we can do is so this it should contain total as key so this one is a, is a constructor so we can move it to the top as this one is a constructor we can move it to the top and another one what is it should be an instance instance means it is nothing but a calculator constructor itself so now i can also move this one to the top and another one what we are having it should return the total as it should return the total as value so this one is also related to the constructor itself we can move it to the top constructor here or here we can move it and another one what we are having so that's it so everything we have moved it now let's try to see the output if we try to see the output see how much linear it is so we are able to understand that okay these are all related to the calculator constructor so these are all specs related to the constructor and these are the specs related to the addition so this is the specs related to the subtract method and these are the specs related to the multiply method and these are the specs related to the divide method so like this nested nested suits provides us like is clear picture understanding so which one we are doing for which uh, method or for which file we are doing the test and all those things it will give you a clear uh, 
clear uh, understanding so hope you understood about this one so how to divide these all nested suits the present the present spec what we have created so we have created it in nested suits so we can use describe inside a describe like this so that it should have a meaningful name so first one is the file name and second one is the class name or the function name and next one comes the method name so whatever the methods you are having so you can use this methods name if you want means you can also create a suit for the constructor and you can also add it in the constructor here so that's not a problem that depends on your uh, uh, division and all those things so that's not uh, that's not a uh, logic or anything so we can have according to your understanding you can do it hope you understood about this nested suits if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you